All right, welcome back. We are talking 19A, 19B today, Arizona unit breakdown, uh, deer draw 2023. If you guys aren't paying attention, that's what I'm talking about. Uh, unit 19A for deer hunting and 19B, kind of what to expect. I'm going over spots to start with you on a map and I'm talking draw odds, giving you some draw odd examples too. So this is what we're doing here. We're gonna start with 19A. Um, I really like this unit. However, this unit is kind of sandwiched in between uh, Prescott and Cottonwood and then all the neighboring cities, all kind of the quad city areas. So you have like, um, with Prescott, you have Prescott Valley, you have Dewey, you have Mayer, you have Cordes Junction and then Cottonwood, you have, um, you know, the Camp Verde that's a little bit south of Cottonwood and then Sedona and then uh, north of Prescott you have uh, Chino Valley and Paulden um, and even uh, you know Williams is technically in unit 8 but it's pretty close to 19A so I bring that up because it is a very very popular unit to hunt by all of us locals that live around 19A and it's a very very fun unit to hunt a lot of access it's a very big unit and it's very diverse you have Mingus Mountain, which kind of sits right on the eastern edge there, um, has great deer populations, turkey populations, bear populations, has mule deer and coos whitetail deer, has elk. Unit, eight, unit 19A kind of has a little bit of everything um, and a lot of water. So the Verde River flows uh, along the northern edge, northwestern edge of 19A, um, separates 19A and 19B, or 19A and unit eight. And then, uh, and then it flows and, and kind of creates that uh, Verde Valley area down there as it flows east um, and separates uh, 6A and all that other stuff over there to the to the east 21 etc. So 19A is very popular. A um, lot of deer. The deer population is really really good, really strong. Very popular place to bow hunt during the archery seasons, which you do have to draw those this year or like first come first serve. That's how they're doing it at this point for the OTC tags. Uh, but as you can see, the draw odds are not, um, and you'll see for the, the draw odds are not crazy, uh, tough, you know, but they're not like an automatic draw if you're, especially if you're a resident, it's not an automatic draw every year, but it's something you can draw every couple of years. And same, same with a non-resident as well. They give out a, a, a fair amount of tags in 19A due to the populations. And uh, there's enough tags to uh, sustain that population and, and still keep mature deer. So you can get deer in that 180 plus class in 19A pretty regularly, especially on that north northern side. Uh, Mingus Mountain holds some pretty big deer um, and uh, Cherry Road, all that kind of stuff in there. And then also um, on that northern boundary of Unit 8, kind of along the Verde, there's some big deer that hide out in there because they're just hard to find. So anytime you're looking for a big mature mule deer, which is like the hardest thing to find, hardest animal in my opinion, and I'm, and I'm a coos deer junkie, but it is really, really hard to find a mature mule deer, especially during the general rifle season, just because they're very elusive and they have just a giant home range. So um, go to places where it's just hard to see, it's hard to look, it's hard to find these deer. And I'm not saying necessarily the thickest areas because a lot of times mule deer bucks don't like being in crazy thick, thick country um, all the time because they can't move that good either without making noise. So um, anywhere where it's really hard for you as a human to glass and access and shoot, that's a place where um, typically mule deer are gonna be found and mule deer bucks found more frequently and age class grows in those areas and so deer can get bigger. So 19A, um, I think anybody that is gonna draw this tag is gonna enjoy hunting there. Um, it, it's a great place where like almost uh, unit wide, you can camp. Um, so the Western access, you can camp all along some of that Western, on uh, the Western uh, part of 19A. Mingus Mountain has like the campgrounds. They've got a little lake up there. And then even on that Southern edge of 19A, it's just a lot of places where you can drive, you can camp, you can glass, um, you're gonna see deer. You know, you, you go from ponderosa pines to junipers to scrub oak, it kinda has a little bit of everything depending on where you're hunting in 19A. So great unit to hunt, guys. I, I really like unit 19A, um, but expect hunting pressure, expect a little bit, uh, 
harder draw odds just because of the location surrounding uh, the, the cities and little towns that it's surrounding. It, it, a lot of locals prefer to hunt there. Um, and it just a, it's a great place to hunt. Uh, 19B is a very, very different. So 19B is the western edge. It's like the west, uh, what, it's west of 19A, but it's the western edge kind of dividing uh, Highway 89, which cuts up in Unit uh, 8, 19A, and Unit 8 are on that east side of 89A, and then uh, Unit 19B kind of is that whole long strip of 89 all the way to I-40. So 19B, you, you have a lot more issues with private land. So there's tons of private land. Uh, access is definitely an issue. Draw odds are a lot better in 19B for mule deer. But that's part of the reason is because it's just a really kind of tough place to hunt, tough place to access. Um, you know, it there is some stuff that you can get into, and I'm gonna try to kind of highlight some of it on the maps. But you just have to be really careful. You got to know where you're going, um, and uh, some of that checkerboard stuff. It looks like it's open, but it's not. So you got to understand what you're doing and uh, really be aware of uh, of whose land you're actually on in those areas. Um, 19B has uh, quite a bit of topography as well. So it's not quite as diverse as 19A. It's not a very big unit. So you don't have like giant mountains. You don't have all this stuff. It's a primarily rolling hills, junipers, uh, some of that canyon country kind of coming out of unit eight. If you look on the border of unit eight on the western border, all that country is very, very similar. So a lot of that uh, uh, junipers and, and canyon stuff where you can find these mule deer hiding out and, and living uh, year round. A lot of water in 19B um, for the most part, but I think that has to do a lot. There's a lot more private land. So a lot of people have their water, a lot of cattle, um, a lot of big ranches have water, which uh, definitely helps the animals, but it doesn't help your access as a public land hunter. I can tell you that. So just be aware if you're going to try to draw a 19B tag or like I mentioned in unit 15 or 16, if you see the draw odds in, in 15, 16 or 19B or some of these areas, 20C is very similar and I'll talk about that later on. But it's like one of those areas where the draw odds are good, you gotta ask yourself why. Okay, is it a really, really tough place to hunt or is the access really difficult or well, there's gotta be a little, some kind of reason, you know? And so 19B is kind of one of those areas where the draw odds are really good. Uh, but access is really difficult, so it keeps a lot of people out of there. It keeps a lot of it keeps the uh, the pressure from trying to draw that tag out. Keeps the draw odds high, so um, that's something to be aware of and uh, understand before you try to draw that tag. That's what you, a, a hurdle that you're going to have to jump. So um, I hope that gave you guys a little bit of an idea about Unit 19, um, how it's divided 19A and 19B, how they differ, why the draw odds differ, and uh, kind of what to expect as far as mule deer quality. I I, I give uh, 19 a and b both that 180 inch kind of trophy potential especially on a good rain year um and then yeah and then access and draw odds are pretty darn good uh they vary a little bit but pretty good to hunt uh, more frequently and uh pretty easy trip if you live in phoenix as a resident and not not a bad trip anywhere um, in Arizona, if you're a non-resident, come hunt mule deer. Um, Arizona has a great place to hunt. I don't care where you're from. So I'm a little bit biased, but anyway, I hope that guys that helped you guys. Um, I'm going to keep rolling down. We're going to talk about 20 A, B, and C next. Um, that's again, some of my home turf. I live in this greater kind of, uh, Prescott area. Um, and so I have a little bit more, uh, down home knowledge about the areas that I can try to help you guys out with and just understand what you're getting into and 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 uh, deciphering the draw odds and the trophy potential and all that kind of stuff. So, all right, guys, hope that helped. We'll talk to you guys soon.